another episode of Clay Cam. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well as watch the video all the way through. Not because Ash too, because man, we're we're digging some footings today. I'm happy to announce that we're moving forward with the construction of this house. If you want to buy a home, call me at five 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 five. I just just call me in my number or hit me up here or something. I'm Clay Nelson. I'm a general contractor from Western Road, Louisiana. I like to make videos. First, I'm gonna go change out a window for my buddy. Oh. I'm here for the yoga class. Is this the right place? Uh, uh, just a Craigslist ad? This is, is the yoga place. You can join us. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we got just a little bit of a problem here. We got the brick above the window. It doesn't have a lintel. It's just a small piece of brick. So we have to figure out a way to keep the brick up above the window while I change the new window. Or change the old window out. Yeah. The goal is pretty simple. Pretty much all you do is cut the old window out. Sometimes, sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's harder. Every window is different. A lot of times you just have to cut out the frame. A lot of times you can just kind of disassemble it. So you have to just sort of use your better judgment. vertical side goes on top of this horizontal side so I'm gonna pull it out first since the vertical part is sort of sitting on top of the bottom part and depending on what brand window you get sometimes they come with these little tabs here this is basically a new construction tab but what you'll have to do is just trim that tab off leaves you with is just the flush area for the window to slide into the brick. For sealing the window up, I'm going to use a clear paintable caulk. This stuff's really expensive. You get it from Home Depot. It's like $10 a tube, but it's really good. The brick being on top of that a little really made the situation just a little bit tricky, but all we did was just kind of let that go down on top. I say we. It's like somebody's helping me. Let the brick just sort of rest on top of the window. It's only one course. It's not even really one course. It's just a little square piece of brick. There's really no better treatment for this. And what you end up with on the inside is a gap on the top and a gap on the bottom. All we need to do is put a little board here and a little board there, paint it, lick these split. And absolutely truth be told, this window went really easy because the, the window that was in there was a replacement window. Normally you had the tabs that are going to the framing and it's a, it's a booger to get out. If you have any questions I didn't cover here, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Taking your time there, eh, buddy? Yeah. You're making pretty good time. Dad, I think I might just sit right here and watch you. Better do it, because I'm getting short around here. Might oh, I yeah. get it all of today in? Hunting season? Hunting season. Yeah, right. National Retired Man. I just holiday. got from here. What's happening now? We've pretty much got all the exterior footings dug, and Tate is getting all the interior footings dug. Whenever he digs those out, he puts that dirt on the inside of the slab. That way, he can get the dirt up to grade inside. Next step is pulling strings in the back so I can do some hand work. Anytime we know we're going to be crossing some plumbing, we typically will like hand dig the footing. That way, we don't hit the plumbing pipe. Another thing I feel like could be helpful, I just wanted to tell you guys that we use a 12 inch bucket when we're digging with our mini X to dig the footings because we want them to really end up at about 16 inches wide. And as far as the depth goes, we just go two foot deep unless it's like a special situation. And with it being a single story home, that's, that's plenty. What you doing, boy? What Got are these? Some plumbing pipes. That's where you pee pee. You yeah. have fun at school? Yeah. Good. Yeah, they're doing a good job. They're doing a wonderful job. Good deal. Y'all some hard working boys. All right, Judah, time to clock out, bro. You ready to go home? We're already at home. Oh, that's true. Let's put another episode of Clay Camp. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>